Hi everybody. So today I'm here to share with you a foolproof, highly rewarding and promising strategy for mathematics. It is the KGF strategy. Now if you follow this strategy honestly, it will drastically boost your score, your rank and your percentile. Oh yes. So are you ready? Let's decode what KGF actually means. See, KGF strategy makes more sense when you start with G, then move on to K, and then move on to F. So let's start with the letter G. Now G stands for grind. Dekho yaar, J main first attempt ke liye bahut kam din bache hain. So now, you people better get ready for the grind. Wo kehte hain na, ki ab sar pe kafan baandh hi liya hai, to maut se kya darna? Ab jab meydan mein utar hi chuke ho, J aspirant ban hi chuke ho, soch hi liya hai ki J main exam dena hai. So, you have to give a fight, right? What say? So, what you have to focus upon is quality prep over quantity prep. Yes. That means you have to prioritize. You have to first prioritize the completion of all the low-hanging fruits, which are your low-input, high-output topics like statistics, mathematical reasoning, sets and relations, heights and distances. Are you understanding? After this, you have to move on to the high weightage topics which are very important and acquire lines shared in the paper like matrices and determinants, sequence and series, vector and 3D geometry, quadratic equations, AOD, definite integration, differential equations as well as ellipse and hyperbola. These are literally your do or die topics. After this, if you have time, you can move on to the remaining ones. Are you understanding? So this is how you have to prioritize the preparation in this particular sequence. Now you would be wondering how to prepare. And the answer is, you already know it, PYQs. You have to very sincerely and very religiously solve PYQs, that is chapter-wise PYQs of at least last three to four years, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Are you understanding? And in this huge bank of PYQs that you have, you have to focus upon solving PYQs of different types which cover multiple varieties so that you get maximum exposure. Okay, also people, point to be noted my lord, that you don't just have to solve the question for the sake of solving, no. You have to sit with every question, study it deeply. Jo bhi reasoning ya jo bhi logic laga hai, usko crack karne mein usko samjho. Jo bhi concept ya jo bhi result ya jo bhi formula, Use hua hai, us pe apni pakad banao. Analyze karo ki kya wo sawal koi shortcut ya koi trick ke dwara solve ho ke jaldi solve ho sakta tha kya? Also, point to be noted my lord, you don't just have to solve the questions for the sake of solving. No, you have to sit with each quality question and study it deeply. Usko crack karne ke peechhe kya logic, kya reasoning lagi hai, wo decode karna bohat zaruri hai. कौन सा कॉन्सेप्ट या कौन सा रिजल्ट या कौन सा फॉर्मूला या कौन सा थ्योरम यूज हुआ था उस पर अपनी पकड़ बनानी बहुत जरूरी है या ये एनालाइज करना कि यार क्या ये सवाल कोई शॉर्टकट या ट्रिक या कोई निंजा टेक्निक को यूज करके और जल्दी सॉल्व हो सकता था क्या एंड दिस एंटायर थिंग दिस एंटायर प्रोसेस यू हैव टू रिपीट विद एवरी क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन दैट यू सॉल्व ओके एंड ऑल द लर्निंग दैट यू गेट after solving the PYQs of one particular chapter, all the learnings that you've got, you have to write them down in the short notes of that chapter. Now, I have made a detailed video on how to make short notes, what is its importance. You can check that out on the channel, which is Akash Baiju's J. But short notes, in short, are just a couple of A4 size sheets, just two or three A4 size sheets, which have the entire chapter in the summarized form. So they have all the important formulas, all the important results, the shortcuts, the tricks, the ninja techniques which you've learned by solving all these PYQs and other questions, or any new question that you've come across which you want to keep in mind so that you don't forget it, any difficult to remember thing, or any new approach or new methodology to solve a question which you have learned, all of this goes into your short notes. And these two or three panne jo hote hai na, jo pure chapter ko contain karte hai, ye aapke liye brahmastra ka kaam karte hai. क्योंकि पेपर के एक दो दिन पहले जब आपको पूरा चैप्टर रिवाइज करना है यू ऑलरेडी नो जे इज अ गेम ऑफ रिपीटेड रिविजन तो जब आपको रिवाइज करना है ये चैप्टर तो उस वक्त आपको सिर्फ कुछ मिनट स्पेंड करने हैं इन पन्नों के साथ एंड यू विल बी डन यू विल बी सॉर्टेड ओके आफ्टर दिस वॉट वी हैव इन ग्राइंड इज मॉक टेस्ट ओ यस 
Every week, at least thrice, you have to sit for mock in the time slots of 9 to 12 or 3 to 6. And more important than taking mock tests is analyzing your performance in the mock tests. What was your exam strategy? Was it your paper practically or emotionally? Because you spent a lot of time in a question and you ended up wasting a lot of time. Or then, you know, what were the situations in which you went to panic mode because you didn't click any important result or formula or you didn't remember. Or then, you forgot the approach that you had to study first. Which simply means that you need to revise it properly. Or then, what kind of mistakes you have committed? Were they conceptual errors or silly mistakes? That 2 plus 3 is 6 or you have to read the question wrong, the wrong value in rough work, or you have to mark the wrong option, etc. etc. All these things you have to keep a note of and you have to ensure that you don't repeat them in the next mock. Are you understanding? So people, in a nutshell, grind ke andar humko kya kya mila? Important part of the syllabus ko complete karna through PYQs at least last three to four years is a must. Making short notes of every chapter and revising them again and again from time to time. Because people, please understand, J is not about knowing everything or completing your 100% syllabus. It is about what you know, you should know perfectly. And that is why it is a game of repeated revision. And last but not the least is regularly taking mock tests to devise your own personalized exam taking strategy and also analyzing your performance thoroughly. All this falls under grind. Grind ka simple matlab hai tapasya aur ye hai aapki tapasya. After grind, it's time to move on to the next letter, which is K. Now, K stands for kill. What is it that you have to kill? You have to kill the distractions around you. Your phones and any electronic gadgets, just remove them from your study area. Say no to procrastination. Stop wasting time on OTT platforms. Anything unnecessary which is disturbing your focus. Either you go away from it or get rid of it. Dekho yaar, there is only one word which can guarantee success and that is the word no. When you say no to the wrong things, that is when you get the time, the space and the energy to say yes to the right things. And the first thing which I strongly believe you have to promise yourself to say no to is comparison. Yes. Aajkal bachche bohut zyada compare karte hain apne aap ko kisi aur se. Ki XYZ friend better coaching mein jata hai, uske paas better facilities, better resources hain. Ya phir ek dousre ki progress compare karna. You know, ki uska to yaar mock test mein itne number aare hain, mere kam aare hain. Ya phir kitna syllabus usne complete kiya, kitne questions usne solve kiye. Ya phir revision wo kis study material se kar raha hai, etc, etc, etc. This is endless. And this is a waste. This is literally useless. Because from this, one, you insult your own life and the other, you invite a lot of anxiety and self-doubt to yourself. What happens eventually is that you end up draining your energy and you end up feeling mentally exhausted. And from this, the most expensive currency which you end up losing is time. And that is something you cannot afford to right now. So, instead, you have to mind your own business, you have to run your own race, you have to focus on your preparation, on your progress, on becoming a better you. Okay? Also, people, say no to complaining and criticizing. Because this way, only in your mind, there is a lot of negativity. And again, this is something which you cannot afford to have right now. So, talk positive with yourself time and again, time and again. Visualize yourself achieving your goal, fulfilling your parents' dreams, entering into IIT. Jisse kya hoga na ki aapka mind continuously happy hormones release karega and you will stay mentally fit, mentally happy, mentally healthy. And that is what we need right now. Now it's time for the last letter which is F. F stands for follow. Yes. See people, there are very, very few days left for your first attempt of J main. Every moment counts. And that's why to make sure that you are not wasting any time, the best way is to schedule it, to create a timetable. Now, of course, this timetable should allow you to invest maximum number of hours into your studies, into your preparation, but it should also be realistic at the same time. It should give you good number of hours to take rest, which is to sleep, and good number of minutes to exercise as well. 
okay but let me tell you people that you will start to see the magic of timetable when you begin following it so be it a weekly timetable or a daily timetable promise yourself that you will stick to it promise yourself that come what may you will do exactly what you have mentioned on it for that day for that hour you will promise yourself that you will follow a disciplined lifestyle because that is the only way to make the maximum use of your time and to go closer and closer to your goal so folks this was the kgf strategy i promise you that if you follow it word by word nothing absolutely nothing can stop you from hitting the bullseye all the best